Doc. Selling the boy. He's a mighty small lad. Why should I buy him? Well, he's worth two pounds, dear Captain. He's a good lad. Yeah. Gentle. Never talks back. Scared of his own shadow. He won't cause you no trouble. They buy workmen in America, not charity cases. I'll give you a pound. What, what's a man to do with that? He's worth more. Take him away, then. I don't need him. I've got one boy already. Well, I'm not, not proud. I'll, I'll take your pound. You'll, uh, you'll get your profit. He's a, he's a good lad, he is. You're not leaving me. You've been a wart on my back ever since he was born. Your mother passed. Well, you know what they do with warts, don't you? They cut away. <laughs> well, I'm cutting you away, young James. Perhaps they'll, uh, they'll make a man of you in the new world. <laughs> It's a favor I'm taking you to America, boy. You're well away from a man like that, father or no. You go below now. You'll find your way. Thanks. You don't have to be so frightened. Nobody's gonna beat you or anything. My father just dragged me here and sold me. That's not easy. You're cold. Uh, you're sure a bad dress for a voyage. Put this on. You'll die a cold before we even get to Boston. <laughs> How old are you? And what's your name? I'm 12. My name's James. James Paul. Davy Butcher. At your service. My uncle's sending me to America because he can't afford to feed so many of us. Did he sell you? No. He wouldn't do that. He arranged for my passage. And then the captain trades my labor in return. Everyone here has done it. They will all work three to five years for some master to repay their passage. Will I have to work five years? We'll have to work till we're 21. It's not so bad. America's the place to be, they say. We'll need to be friends, James. We're the only lads. Which means looking out, one for the other.
open your mouth, boy. <laughs> Is this one a joke, Foster? Bringing babes to Boston? I have need of him. I promised a friend a boy. A boy? Oh, this is not a boy. This is a, a net, a fly, a thimble. <laughs> oh, good. What do you want for your monthly one? Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Back in the streets of London. <laughs> streets of London, I've heard that on everybody. What's that? I bought you all. All for the little one. Follow me. We'll find each other, James. Be sure of it. Talking as it is, convincing him you're a bargain. Stand taller now. You've had troubles, haven't you, boy? I was expecting a bigger, stronger, older boy. I'm not in the business of stealing him, William. I can only take what's brought me. Yeah. It's bad business this soul driving. I didn't need a hand. You willing to get up before the sun, work hard, farm his life after the moon's gone? Yes, sir. Seems like a good, honest lad. Yes, I'll have to trade you for him. I've corn and I've smoked ham. Five bushels of corn? And uh, do you have five hams? William? That's a big price for a small boy. Now give me three hands. Nicely smoked. I have his papers right here. Oh, my neighbor Cotter pressed me to find a boy for him. Uh, this is the last of my lot. Just as well. I'd hate to be responsible for consigning a boy to that man's hands. How much for this one, Beaton? Well, now, for you, Mr. Carter, ten pounds firm price. For me? <laughs> Have you any idea how much a boy like this eats? Multiply that by eight or nine years. Well, you know laborers' wages. Multiply that by eight, nine, or ten years. Not worth more than five pounds. He's, uh, he's a good, strong, healthy boy. There's many that'll buy him. Give you seven pound six. Flat eight. That's more than you paid for the whole lot. That's my price. Highway robbery. Take him. What have you brought? A rag doll for a boy? of flotsam from the London gutters, I guess. We'll have to make him whole. Did Captain Foster have a boy for neighbor Carter? Just the one boy for us. Well, there's a blessing. That man's bitter root. What's our boy's name, Liz? James Porter. Get up, boy. I said, get up. Well, 
are you? I'm somebody you've got to listen to for a long time. Get up, now. Are you an Ethiopian? My granddaddy or someone came from Africa. They were savages. And I've got a whole lot of that blood in me. So look after yourself. You're the first African I've ever seen. You work here too? That's all anybody does around here is work. I work the house. And that makes me special. You're the new field boy, and that means you do what everybody tells you. Everybody, including me. My name's David Butcher. You call me Cato. You sweep this barn and milk those cows. I've a great hunger. You've got your chores to do first. Mr. Carter doesn't feed nobody who doesn't work. What are you doing, boy? I haven't had my breakfast yet. I'm hungry. Stand when you talk to me, bound boy. Wasting is what you're doing. Wasting and messing and stealing. Sir, I, I had no supper last night. I shall have none tonight if you talk to me like that. I'm your master. I owe you your meals, that's correct. But you owe me work. No work, no meals. I shall give you adequate shelter, sufficient food. You must learn humility, obedience, honor for your masters. Now, you have stolen from me. I will keep breakfast from you. I've not had but those few squirts of milk since the ship yesterday. There's no teacher like hunger, boy. Learn from it. Thank you. 
I take the liberty? The boy who was on the boat with me. The one there with the African boy. So, Carter got a boy after all. Oh. God help the boy. He looks so worn. May I go talk to him, please? Davy! Davy Butcher! You, boy. Your Waldress is bound, boy. Yes, sir. How do you know my bound boy? We rode the same boat over, sir. May I talk to him now? You'll be seeing him when we meet to clear the fields, I expect. Be brief, boy. Thank you, sir. Davy! Davy! Davy Butcher! Time's port. We found each other, Davy. Like you said. You don't look so small anymore, James. I eat meat and drink milk now. You've a good master? Aye. He's even sending me to school. And you? Gato! Bound boy, come! <laughs> One day I shall tell you everything, James. James, but Davy's actions are guided by Mr. Cotter. Would you ask him, sir, please? Davy must ask him himself, Jack. Mr. Cotter? What is it, bound boy? James Porter's got permission to explore, sir. I'd like to go with him. Privileges soften a worker. Contentment gives a man energy, Carter. Happiest cow I know gives the most milk. You're too easy, man. See you two are back here inside the half hour. I can't tell you what it's like for me, James. But I never get a real meal. Kato's the only friend I have. He slips me stuff sometimes, scraps and things. Kato's always saying I'll be leaving him when I'm 21, so why pour good money after that? I'm not worth anything to Mr. Cotter. 
He even treats Kato better than me because he's a permanent possession. I'm just some kind of thing around there, like a, a kettle or a broom. Even the floor's more important to him. Hey, look! I wager I can get up there before you can. Catch me! James Porter. Where are you? It's a cave. Come around the other way. Don't tell any bears about this cave. I mean, never mention a word about it to anyone. I swear. It's our secret place. Only ours. I swear, Davy. Swear? so much food since we got to America. <laughs> They're starting again. Let's all go back together. We can dance. Do you think we should? You're there, aren't you? Why shouldn't Davy? You too, Kato. I know where I belong. So do you. Let's go. Wedding. I can invite who I want. Farm boys aren't supposed to have any friends. Farm boys aren't supposed to have any fun. Then you must be a farm boy, Simon Connor, because you certainly don't have any friends and you sure don't seem to have any fun. Yes, sir, Mr. Cutter. Walk out of this room, boy. Now. I said go! Oh, now. I say everyone's got a right to enjoy the wedding. You're too soft, Walters. You give these servants ideas. One of these servants 
is marrying my niece today. Hans was a bound man for years. As well he was, he knew his place. Haven't you any pride, man? I'm proud. I've got food enough to feed an extra mouth. You can start planning. Why don't you dance with me, John Carter? Thank you, ma'am. But the Carter family's going home. <laughs> <laughs>